everybody. Our video today is going to be kind of low budget. My tripod broke, so I'm using my poppet to uh, prop up my phone tonight. So hopefully this works well. Um, very simple recipe to share with you guys tonight. Um, this is a lean and green version of a recipe I found on Pinterest the other day from Julia's album. It was promoted as a gluten-free and paleo recipe, so just with a few adjustments, it made it very simple to incorporate into the Optavia lean and green um, lifestyle. This recipe is going to serve two people, and we are going to start by seasoning our shrimp. Um, I have two pounds of cleaned shrimp here. Um, this shrimp was frozen. I put it in my salad spinner colander to defrost overnight. It wasn't quite defrosted, so I had to run some cold water over it to finish thawing it out and get the shells off. I like to buy shrimp with the shells on because I feel like they just taste better if I'm taking the shells off myself. And then I put it in my sal salad spinner, give it a swirl just like I would do if it was lettuce so that it has a chance to get all the excess water off. I'm going to season it very simply with a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flake and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to sprinkle that on top and give it a quick stir. I have my cast iron skillet preheating over here on the stove. And I'm just going to use a little bit of cooking spray in it when I start to cook my shrimp. Okay, I'm going to let that sit in let those flavors come together a little bit and I'm going to measure out another quarter teaspoon of salt that I will need for the rest of the dish and just put it over here. Um, also for this dish I have the mushrooms. This is eight ounces, well almost eight ounces, I have two more to do here, of uh, button white mushrooms. You can use whatever kind of mushrooms you want. Let me see if I can prop this enough so you guys can see um, the mushrooms here. Um, a lot of controversy on how to, the best way to clean mushrooms. Um, some sh chefs, professional chefs, recommend that you wipe them off with a damp cloth. Um, there's a very much controversy about whether you should rinse the mushrooms or not. I actually use a colander like this and dump the mushrooms into it and give them a quick rinse under the cold water, shaking them as I go so the water doesn't have time to really settle on them and drains off quickly. Um, I just feel more confident that my mushrooms are cleaner that way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut off the stem. I cut off more of the stem probably than I should because I want the fleshier part of the mushroom. And I'm going to need two cups, so I'm going to slice them very thinly. You can put them rolly side up or, or flatter side down. If you're not as skilled with a knife, you might want to put the flat side down. It'll be a little bit easier for you to slice them very thinly. And these eight ounces are just a touch over two cups raw, so cooked down they will definitely be at that two cup mark, which will equal four greens. Okay, toss those. The other things that are going to go into this recipe are a quarter cup of basil pesto. That's going to counter our healthy fats. Um, the pesto that I'm using is actually some that my daughter made the other day. I'm just using the leftovers. Um, but uh, this is our favorite one to buy, <laughs> just in case. But any, any kind will do. And then I'm also going to be using two cups of riced cauliflower. This is leftover from another recipe, so it's already been... Um, cooked by heating in a preheated skillet with a little bit of cooking spray and I'm going to use that at the end. Alright, so I'm going to take this over here and I'm using my cast iron skillet for this and the reason, the reason I'm using the cast iron skillet is because I am having real issues with my ceramic skillets. Um, I'm not liking the way they're looking olive oil cooking spray in them. Hmm. Let's see what I can do right here. So I'm, I'm just going to put this. It's going to be a super easy recipe. So I'm just going to put this. Uh, so I'm just enjoying the cast iron a lot more because I can use any kind of oil in it I want. It doesn't leave residue. And I just really like the flavor of my food better. So I told my husband that the other day I'm going to start switching to all cast iron. And um, it's just a lot easier to clean up too. So I'm just going to, I've already got this preheated on like medium low heat. Um, cast iron really gets heated, um, holds the heat a lot. So I tend to put it on a lower setting than I would if it was nonstick also. I'm going to spray a little bit of cooking spray in here. And then we're going to add the shrimp. In 
know is getting busy from this uh, amazing video camera, but unfortunately I'm the only one home, so i got to do this myself. I'm going to give this time to cook and let it sit there. I'm going to let the shrimp cook until it's nice and okay. Okay, while it's doing that, I'm going to get another bowl, a clean bowl out, so that we can put that shrimp in it when it's done cooking while we cook the mushrooms because I don't want my shrimp to overcook so I don't want it to be in there while I'm cooking the mushrooms and then we'll put it all back together at the end um, overcooking shrimp in my opinion is a sin and a travesty because you pay a lot of money for good shrimp and if it's overcooked it gets tough and loses a lot of its sweetness you can see this shrimp is all starting to turn pink and opaque that's how you know it's um done it's picking up a lot of flavor here just from that little bit of seasoning we have and i did turn the heat up just a touch i wanted to be just a little bit higher here so still at not just a little bit above medium low though we'll turn it up higher probably for the mushrooms because i want them to get a nice sear on them Alright, so the shrimp is starting to release some of its juices, which will also go towards helping to flavor the mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, feel free to use any other approved vegetable in this dish. Um, that could be broccoli florets, that could be peppers, um, that could be um, more cauliflower if you prefer, any other vegetables that are approved on the Optavia Lean and Green Guide, okay? That's one of the things I like the best about this recipe. It's very versatile. You can change up the meat. You can change up the um, vegetables. Um, I would stick in the leanest category, though, for this meat because the basil pesto does count as a healthy fat, and so this allows, the shrimp allows us to have two healthy fats per person in this recipe, and if you choose another meat, you'll have to reduce the amount of healthy fat, so you're not going to get quite that same um, hit a flavor of the basil pesto because you'll have to use less of it. All right, so let's get all this shrimp out of here. Perfect. And now I'm going to just give it just another quick spray with the cooking spray and add my mushrooms. Oh, it's a big handful. Again, just a little over two cups, so eight ounces of mushrooms. If you use a different vegetable, just remember to compensate just a little bit for shrinkage, so a little bit more than than two cups raw if you're still going to serve it over the cauliflower rice. All right, so um, one of the things you want to know about mushrooms, I still see a lot of recipes that tell you to salt your mushrooms whenever you first put them in the pan. Don't do that, um, and there's a good reason for that. If you salt the mushrooms while you're cooking them, they will release a lot of their water and get liquidy rather than getting brown first. So you shouldn't season them until they're done. I'm going to turn up the heat here just a little bit. And while that's cooking, I'm going to grab the basil pesto so it's a little closer and the cauliflower rice. Or the rice cauliflower, cauliflower rice, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so I'm going to let this cook. We want these mushrooms to get nice and brown. The cookie. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> There's a little bit of red pepper flake left in that pan, and as it's heating up, it's giving off its uh, little spicy aroma. And I think I inhaled a bit of it there. Don't worry, folks. It will not be that spicy. And if you don't want to add the red pepper flake, Substitute a different herb that is approved on the Lean and Green Guide. Just use plain black pepper. Um, you could add oregano for a little bit more of an Italian flair. But I would recommend something with just a little bit of spice to it. So you just get a little bit of heat in your um, dish. If you would like it to be more spicy, then I would suggest maybe using um, some white pepper or straight cayenne pepper. Just make sure you're following the condiment list so you know how to keep it within the one con half a condiment that we're allowing for it in this recipe. Okay, so these are starting to cook down. I'm going to let them sit here as they cook this minute so they start to get a little bit of a brownness to them. I've said before in several of my videos 
that brown food tastes good and you get a lot of flavor from allowing your food to cook properly. Not overcooked, but to cook properly. And my mushrooms, I like them to have a little bit of a sear to them. So I want to see here in the bottom of the can. And after they get brown, we will add another quarter teaspoon of salt, which is another condiment. And I almost forgot. No, that's right. No, that's right. I was thinking this one had garlic. No, keep getting confused with another recipe that I'm working on. Alright. The steam comes up and gets my glasses so I can't see. You know you're getting old when you can't cook anymore without readers. And today I notice I can't do laundry anymore without readers. Can't read the labels. Alright, so that's starting to get nice and brown. So I'm going to go ahead and add the salt. I'm going to add the cauliflower rice. Now this cauliflower rice did not have any seasoning to it. It had just already been brown cooked in um, the cast iron skillet um, with cooking spray on it in the recipe I used it in before. So I'm just going to let this come to temperature, get warm, and then we're going to add the basil pesto. And again, this is some that my daughter made for some fresh ingredients that we had, but you can use store-bought. And then we're going to add the shrimp back in. So the biggest difference between my version of the recipe and the recipe that I, original recipe that I found on Pinterest was a reduction in the amount of fat used. There's a lot more olive oil added in, in addition to the pesto. And um, a little bit of... Um, Manipulation of the seasonings and the adding of the cauliflower rice to get more of the green in there. So this dish is going to serve two people and be a complete green green meal. And when you take a look at the amount of food that's in this skillet, this is a big skillet. It's a lot of food for two people in this meal. One of the things I like the most about getting something from the leanest category because it's a lot of protein you're going to be taking in in that meal. If you don't think, if you think that's going to be too much protein for you, feel free to have some protein earlier with a peeling and use a little bit less shrimp. And that way you're spacing your, your, your um, lean part out through the course of the day. So there's the dish. It's completed because everything's heated through. It doesn't take any everything long to come back together. I'll take a picture of it to post with the recipe. I hope you guys like it. Thanks.